how's it going people? It is the Hoff here and today I am pleased to show you the Spin coffee maker. This is the Pro model, so they refer to it as the original Pro, but this is the Pro. The biggest difference between the original and the Pro as far as the machine itself is the fact that the Pro model has a waterline hookup. You also get the frother and the, what's it called, the craft or whatever, the 12 ounce uh, pot to put underneath of it. But that is the biggest difference. Uh, from my understanding, I ordered this in 2021, March 23rd. So that's where they are on the pro shipments in case you were waiting. Uh, this just came in uh, today on the 16th. So I literally just got it. I took it out of the outer box that they ship it in um uh sorry if you hear that's my daughter baby in the background just playing around but um yeah so that's where they're on the pros the originals i believe for the regular machine itself is pretty well caught up uh i'm not sure if they're exactly caught up but there was people that ordered during the christmas holiday and they received theirs more recently so i'm pretty sure they're pretty close if not uh on almost no back order status now i paid a little bit less for this when i ordered it that was one of the perks of getting it as a uh, back order where we weren't sure when this would exactly come in but let's go ahead and take a look at the box itself so nothing too, too fancy on the outside. Uh, just copyrights 2020 because uh, it looks like that's when they pretty much had set all this up. Uh, there is a QR code in case you don't have the app, which I already have the app and loaded up the spin credits. And then on top of the box was this thank you letter and it had the CEO and CPO. And then it tells you a little bit about the fact that it does uh, the special brewing. There's no waste. It can clean itself, uh, which you need to order the liquid cleaning solutions over time. Uh, how it, it does that grinding. The bean recognition, which is really nice. And then the quality of the coffee. So let's... Go ahead and take a gander at this. Wow, wasn't expecting it to just open this way, but that is quite nice. And let's get this side open. And then this, which I'm assuming means that it just all pretty well will fall open. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. So as you see, it has you take out all the accessories and then you unfold the box and you place your coffee maker and you follow the instructions. So let's set that to the side. Uh, let's put down Okay, so what do we got here? We have a water filter and then a drip tray. So I'm gonna be using a reverse osmosis system. So I necessarily might not even need to keep buying the filters, just have to tell it that I have the filters because the reverse osmosis system should pretty well take care of that filtering process for me. All right, I'm going to set you guys down for us so you guys can see. And this is a nice felt material. You'll need the app to set up. And because I'm using my phone, which if you wanna support the channel, by all means, please make sure you're subscribed so I can soon upgrade. I got other videos and plans coming out, but uh, 
supporting the channel by subscribing and just watching videos, uh, ads if you so choose, but the ads kind of help. Uh, and then using any links, most of my links will help support the channel. Plus I have some Teespring stuff. So this Dripzilla is what my wife created and it's on the Teespring store along with other stuff. So all that will help support the channel. But let's go ahead and get this nice coffee maker out. And then I will brew some coffee. And when I have it set up for brewing, we will go ahead and listen. All right? Okay. So the top, like I said before, it says before you start, install the spin app on your smart device, phone. Uh, I don't know if they have it on tablets, but they have it for Android and iOS. Uh, besides the uh, ability to use a lot more features on this coffee maker than just hitting the buttons on the front, you have the bean recognition, which was stated. You can order from their marketplace, which I will say their marketplace is a little bit pricier on the shipping. So I would try to find, if you get credits, use your credits, find the coffee you like, and then try to find that coffee elsewhere that may offer free shipping should they do it from Amazon or the uh, website of the coffee maker, the bean maker, I should say. Um, order from their website directly and maybe you will save a little bit. So the intent here is to go ahead and use my Ember mug and get this started. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to stop pause stuff right here and we will set this up and then i will see you guys when it is starting to brew okay guys i figured i'd show you the paperwork about the quick start guide so you have to get in the know of the machine which just goes over the main parts uh i'm packaging the machine which is quite nice because you have the drip tray and there is a spot oh sorry spot right there that you can have it up higher to put smaller cups if you so choose and i mean this thing is all metal right here it feels quite amazing and drip tray slides all up in there uh but it says you want to rinse the water tank then place the filter fill it up with water and then uh remove the locking clip and insert your water line hookup and place the locking clip back in and connect your supply for water. Then you're going to fill the bean hopper and scan your bag and you are ready to go ahead and choose the various coffees option drinks that you want. So you have espressos, uh, Lungo coffee, and you can make lattes, cappuccinos. Just gotta have the frother, which I mean, this has a frother on it, but uh, I'm trying to eventually get rid of the Keurig and just use this, which should be uh, better. But we shall see. From all reports, this thing is amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead, rinse it out, fill it with water, and fill the bean hopper with what was recommended, uh, the America Coffee Co. And it's the French Roast Costa Rica. It is a medium blend. So we shall see exactly how these are. And then I have a Thanksgiving blend that was on sale that was also recommended, but it was a sale one. So I'll try that. And then I will have to look at more to try over time and see which ones I like. But for now, we're just gonna start with that. All right, so we got it started and I told it to make it a mug. So it's about 9.6 ounces. And I'll give it a smell, give it a taste without creamer. Then I'm gonna add my own creamer. Just kind of waiting on uh, it to brew, but.
Yeah, I definitely want you guys to be able to hear that slight spinning noise where it should have grinded up the beans so you can hear how loud this potentially will get. For me, it's not gonna be too bothersome. I mean, that's not loud at all for me, but uh, they shouldn't hear it upstairs. Definitely won't hear it down in the basement once I get that finished, which I have plans for that. So stay tuned for more videos on that one, but wow. So try not to block the lighting here, but that definitely does look good. And I made sure that this was a fresh clean mug, spoon, so I can uh, mix in any creamers I want, should I want to go with creamers, but that looks good like by itself. Uh, did you hear my daughter's in the background? She's sitting in the high chair and she wants to have some food. And I have something ready for her, but I'm just waiting on it to cool down. Okay, that sound should mean that it's finished. And then it's going to put the grounds where you can grab them and essentially put them away. So let's give it a smell test. Wow, does smell great. That is good. I think next, once I'm done with this, I will try to do the espresso. I'm really interested to try the espresso. And I might do a short to let you guys know how that goes.